Big Sponge Murphy here and welcome back to the latest Road to Gulliman Painting Challenge update video. But before I start, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up to date with all the Road to Gulliman Painting Challenge videos. So this week's video was to paint a Primaris Librarian model. It's one of those psyker models with a great hand poking out like that and he's using his psychic powers. That's one of the things that I really wanted to get across on this model that I want him to look like he's using the psychic powers. But before I switch to the table view, to find out what you guys chose to be painted next, stay tuned till the end of the video, and then I'm gonna get you guys to vote again to what I'm gonna paint after that. So it's viewers choices back, and it's gonna be up to you guys to what I paint next. Stay tuned till the end of the video, and I switch down to table view. So here is the Primaris Librarian model, all finished up, all ready to go, and I'm really happy how he turned out. There's a few little things that didn't work, but I changed around, you know, as you do. And I'll go over all the colours that I used as well. So of course I had McCraig blue all over the armour. That's the usual colour that I kind of start off with. McCraig blue, null and oil, uh, shade in the recesses and then any highlights with Calgar blue. Yeah, and Abaddon black in the recesses so you have like in the joints of the arms here. Um, any kind of under armour parts I like to call it. Uh, the robe, now usually... From the pictures, it's usually a kind of a white creamy robe, but I went a little bit different. I went with Steel Legion Drab, uh, kind of a light brown. It's a really nice looking colour. I really enjoyed using it. With Agrax Art Shade in the recesses to get the shade in, and then just tidied up then any parts with Steel Legion Drab again. And I highlighted it a little bit with uh, Ushapti Bone just on the highest edges as well. So then we have the gold, of course, which is always Retributor Armour. Uh, this time I went to Agrax Earthshade shade over it, uh, because I wanted it a little bit darker, and then highlighted with Liberator Gold. Uh, the cables I wasn't too sure about, so I just went over them with a base colour of Averland Sunset, which it is kind of tricky to do, especially trying to get a wash over them. But, you know, it turned out okay. Agrax Earthshade again, again in the recesses of that. I did try... Reikland Flesh Shade because I didn't want them to be as dark but it came out this kind of pale red colour and I went over it again with Agrax Earth Shade, sorted it right out. And then the red cable, anything red in it is just my fist on red so you can see the uh, the purity seals were red as usual on that. Um, my fist on red with Agrax Earth Shade wash and then just, I didn't highlight it anything brighter, I just went over it with my fist on red again. So onto the, some of the smaller details, now obviously the face, a little small bit of skin there, that was just Bugman's Glow with a regular flesh shade, with Bugman's Glow over it again. So, uh, that's kind of like the basics, kind of, of the model. Most of it is just, it's just time, really, to put into it. All the basics are kind of pretty handy to do. So when it came to stuff like the Power Sword, this was, I was kind of experimenting again. So what I did this time for the final result was, let me zoom in to get a better look. What I did was I went with Calgar Blue over the whole thing, uh, a null and oil wash or null and oil shade in the recess here just to make this kind of closer to the handle a bit darker. And then what I did was I highlighted, well not highlighted, I dry brushed up from Ultuan Grey to White Scar just on the edges and any of the kind of higher pieces sticking out. And it gives it kind of that power sword look on it as well. So really simple way how to do it and it turns out pretty good. Really quick to do as well as long as you go easy with the dry brush. Especially with white because you really don't want to overdo it. So then the kind of the last thing I really wanted to do was I wanted to give him a look that he's using some of his psychic powers. So if I can get the right angle here, if you see his hand, it's not just normal blue, it's kind of like a lighter colour, kind of goes from uh, light blue to white. And again I did the same effect that I did on the power sword, just dry brushed up from Ultuan Grey, uh, white scar, and then on the very edges I went over it with Calgar blue, just to make that blue a little bit uh, stick out a little bit further. So the look I wanted to give him was as if he's like using the psychic powers and some of these rocks are starting to feel the effect of it like he's lifting these up with his psychic powers so you see kind of that glow effect on the edges as well. So I had a lot of fun painting this guy and um, the main thing the main thing was uh, getting that kind of power sword look effect and the use of him using his psychic powers on the rocks. So I think it turned out okay. Um, I would have liked the rocks at a bit of a, a tighter angle, you know, make them look a bit more looser, but it was really tricky to get these to glue and to stay, so they're finally set, so I was happy with that. They'll have to stay like that. But other than that, you know, 
Uh, he turned out pretty decent, I'm happy. Um, the base again was just cork with Mechanicus Standard Grey as a base coat, null and oil wash, and then dry brushed with, uh, what's that dry brush paint I have? Dawnstone. And it's the exact same with the rocks and it's the exact same with uh, the glow effect I did on them for the sword as well. Ultuan grey, white scar and then a light, really light dry brush of Calgar blue on the edges. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that model. I had a great time painting them. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. So alright, what did you guys choose to paint next? We had four choices and we had chances to vote on Twitter and on Facebook and on here as well. And by a big landslide, the Chaplain won. Now I wasn't too sure about painting the Chaplain. I was, you know, I've seen the Chaplain a hundred times. But once I took out the model and I had a look at it to get ready to paint them, this is a fantastic model. So I kind of understand now why so many people pick the Chaplin model. And it's nice to get away from painting blue so much as well, even if it's just for one model. So massive thank you for you guys for choosing that for me. So again, I'm giving you guys the choice for what I'm going to be painting next. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of keep the characterish type of models or maybe the units that only have like three models for you guys to pick. So for this week, I'm going to give you guys the choice of three aggressors. They're the big mechanized or mechanized uh, space marine guys. I really like these. I was really surprised to see these with the Warhammer Conquest because I thought these were kind of like really expensive models and they're pretty big. Um, and then of course the other model is going to be a 30k Terminator Sergeant model. This is part of the I was going to say the Road to Gulliman. This is part of the Betrayal of Cal box. And I absolutely love the Terminators in that. And I had them all built up with close combat weapons. So when I was going through them, I noticed that, you know, it's not just four models and a sergeant. It's like four models or five models and then another sergeant model with that, I think. So there are two fantastic choices there, I think. I would gladly paint up any of these. I'd kind of be hinting more at maybe the 30k terminator a little bit just to see what he's like to paint but the aggressors are a great choice as well i'd really look forward to painting them so hopefully you guys will go out and choose you can either choose here or i'm going to put it on idic beer's facebook page as well so i'll put a link to that in the description below and then i'll have it on uh, twitter as well so hopefully you guys like this video i haven't rambled on too long but make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring that little bell button as well it's really important and once again thanks for watching make sure to hit the like button and we'll see you guys in the next video